Today in this video, we're going to talk about how Australian tennis player Thanasi Kokonakis couldn't wait to have a chance to play against three-time defending champ Novak Djokovic after finally having won a match at Wimbledon. To find out what went down once Kokonakis actually came face-to-face -face with Djokovic on the court, stay with us. First up, Thanasi Kokonakis couldn't wait to play against Novak Djokovic. Fresh on Wimbledon win buzz, Australian player Thanasi Kokonakis was more than hyped up to play and hopefully even win against the Serbian legend. He had just won his first ever game at the Wimbledon tournament after five long and never-ending years since he last appeared at the All England Club. Kokonakis was excited to play a second-round blockbuster after he beat Poland's Kamil Maciszak during a historic match, where he won three sets out of five against Kamil, scoring an impressive 7-6, 6-2, and 7-5. It's evident from the scores that Maciszak gave Kokonakis a tough time out on the court, making his victory all the more sweeter. He was so confident in his skills after his win that he actually shared how he'd been looking forward to the match against Djokovic, who is not only world's number three currently, but is also defending his three-time consecutive Wimbledon championship. In fact, Djokovic is the highest ranking in the man's seed during Wimbledon 2022, since world's number one, Daniil Medvedev, has been banned from the tournament due to his Russian nationality, while number two in the world, German Alexander Zverev is out due to an injury. And now, a psyched Thanasi Kokonakis thoughts on his big win. You have to understand, this win truly was miraculous and perfect for Kokonakis. The universe finally cut this 26-year-old player some slack after he'd been defeated twice previously in the first round, and then also had to deal with two unsuccessful and disappointing qualifying campaigns. Once he defeated Camille, he expressed his gratitude by saying that he was super happy with the way the results panned out. He also acknowledged that coming into the tournament, his head was clouded with a whole lot of doubt, and that he wasn't certain how he he'd be able to pull up, how he'd play, or even if he would play at all. According to Kokonakis, getting to play against the 20 times Grand Slam champ, Djokovic was actually going to be his big reward for having played well. Djokovic has so far won seven Wimbledon crowns and is set to win a fourth consecutive one with this year's tournament. The Aussie shared that he saw playing against a legend of that proportion to be a huge opportunity, one he couldn't wait for. He was so psyched at even the prospect of ending up standing in front of Djokovic that that was the only thing on his mind even during his match with Camille. He explained that he'd obviously witnessed the draw and that he was the type of person who looked ahead, meaning that Kokonakis was well aware of the fact that he'd have a tough match to win. But in the back of his mind, he kept reminding himself of what actually was at stake. Up next, Thanasi Kokonakis' defeat at the hands of Novak Djokovic. Earlier in the tournament, Djokovic opened with a rather difficult victory against Korean player Soon Woo Kwon, winning with a score of 6-3, 3-6, 6-3, and 6-4. As the two played center court underneath the closed roof, Kokonakis, however, had been having a good time time, having landed his very first ATP title in January 2022. Plus, he was actually the only Australian player to have won during the first day of the championships. But when it came down to it, 26-year-old Kokonakis was no match for Djokovic's incredible skills. The champion took a second-round victory against Kokonakis during the pair's grass court match with a 6-1, 6-4, and 6-2 score. It was obvious that Djokovic was easily dominating Kokonakis, who stands at world number 79. The Serbian struck the ball beautifully from deep and moved smoothly around the center court, giving the audience a chance to witness one of his best performances of the year. And now, let's go hear Djokovic's thoughts on the game. Post-game, Djokovic happily shared that he was very satisfied with his performance. He expressed that the game started off quite well, remained strong from the back of the court, and that he made Kokonakis work for every single point, where he managed to get his serve back in play. He was obviously referring to the fact that during the match, Djokovic had beautifully broken Kokonakis' serve five whole times as he won his 23rd match of the season, smoothly extending his winning streak. In a very Serbian manner, Djokovic spoke of the weather conditions, trying to hinder his performance by stating the fact that, due to all the wind, it became really difficult to toss the ball right. He, however, had a very high-quality performance that he was quite pleased with. He also expressed that he was really pleased with himself for the way he raised the level of tennis within a span of two days. Damn, we love a cocky king. But honestly, he's not wrong. Djokovic, after his match with Kwan, was pushed to four sets in their first-round match. It was at that point when the champion expressed that he might need more time to adjust to the grass court. The time span of exactly one game was all it took for this guy to return to his form. One game, one Aussie player. That's all it took. Djokovic all but broke Kokonakis during their second game, winning 40 out of 88 points, and the rest, along with the Australian, was history. He finished his statement with the hope that he can continue to be this awesome and get even better with the progression of the tournament. He definitely seems at peace and hopeful that things are only going to get better for him from this point onwards. Up next, Kokonakis vs Djokovic. Some noteworthy moments. If you've witnessed the game or his highlights. It may not come as a surprise for you that Kokonaka's struggle began very early on during his center court debut. He was, however, provided with a few chances to figure out his range by his opponent, who had been in absolute fight mode since the very beginning. 
Djokovic returned some sharp shots, which had Kokonakis all over the place. The Australian did, however, break in the second as well as sixth game, so as to ease the opponent set. During the second set, Djokovic maintained his level, so the fact that Kokonakis definitely improved didn't prove to make much of a difference. Djokovic kept breaking once again in the third set and moved two sets ahead. Yikes. During the third set, it was evident that Djokovic's serving was calculated and precise, since the champion didn't face a break point until the time he was serving with a 5-2 score. Despite his opponent showing some late resistance, Djokovic held his own and managed to gain a victory against the Australian. You could tell by his excitement that Kokonakis had been looking forward to becoming the lowest ranking player to gain a victory over Djokovic at the tournament. He managed to do really great, but at the end of the day, he was powerless in front of the champion of champions, Djokovic himself. What is next for Djokovic? Well, it turns out, the Serbian is going to have to enter into a third-round clash against fellow countryman Miamir Kegmanovic. Kegmanovic, at number 30 in the world, managed to gain a second-round win against Chilean Alejandro Tobillo with scores 7-6, 7-6, 3-6, and then finally 6-3. Let's see how easy it is for Djokovic to defend his title against someone from his homeland. And now for some other updates from Wimbledon. So let's talk a bit about Miomir Kekmanovic. Speaking of Kekmanovic, we'd like to point out two things. One, the Serbians have been pretty busy this year. And two, it has not been a good year for the Australians. After Djokovic, a Serbian player in the 25th seed, Miomir Kekmanovic has been winning one match after the other. He beat Australia's John Millman with a 6-3, 2-6, 6-3, and then 6-4 in the fourth set, and then went on to settle the scores with Alejandro Tabillo from Chile. Now Kekmanovic is said to appear against Djokovic, and we can't wait to witness what's about to go down. Will the champion maintain his winning streak, or is he going to throw in his hat in front of his fellow countrymen? We can just wait and watch. And now, let's discuss James Duckworth's win over Andy Murray. The long-awaited center court battle between former number one in the world, Andy Murray, and James Duckworth came to a satisfying conclusion with Murray eating dirt at the hands of Duckworth after a score of 4-6, 6-3, 6-2, and 6-4. What do we have here? An Australian subject putting British royalty to shame. We're here for it. Despite some of the biggest names, like Swiss tennis legend Roger Federer, being absent from this year's Wimbledon, the tournament has been an endless source of entertainment and exhilaration. We keep waiting for a dull moment, but there are none. Bet you didn't expect that to happen. We sure didn't. That's a wrap for this video. What did you think about Kokonakis vs Djokovic? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.